Well, this is the competition for, for this field of photography. So it's the biggest one, it's the most prestigious one, and like, <laughs> like literally everybody in this field submits pretty much every year. A lot of photographers have actually built their career on, on the publicity that is generated by what is a huge, huge competition now and wonderfully international. A little bit more of context and, and movement around. Mm. You know? Each category was seen by two or three judges and each of us was looking through like 12 or 15,000 frames. Made a selection, cut that down to I think about a third and then these selections were merged and that was our starting point for each category. When judging, um, first and foremost, the judges are looking for the aesthetic qualities, but there are other considerations that come in at some point. So the welfare of the animal certainly comes first. Of course, there are um, carefully written rules and um, it's up to the photographer to make sure that they fulfill those rules. Um, and they cover both the technical side and the ethical side. So in terms of what the public always asks first is um, how much manipulation goes into those pictures. And by that, they're talking about digital manipulation. Always the judges are sufficiently experienced, um, whether in publishing or in the industry or as practitioners and head, you know, at the top of their game to be able to spot things. And I do think the infrared pulled that in. Like yeah. on normal light, probably it wouldn't have looked so in strong. Infrared right? makes the uh, sky stronger. It's a, it's a very interesting experience with the judges. Uh, what I found really, really interesting is that um, the, the, that mix um, brings lots of different ways of thinking about photography. So we go from reportage, sciences, to fine art. Like I feel like with this combination, we are not, we are not losing things that like randomly fall through the cracks. The judging is done as fairly as any judging could be, in fact more so I think than any other, almost any other competition. All the pictures always have been judged anonymously, so any photographer who wins does so on the merits of their entries. I think message is really important and, and content, story is important. Well I think you know, if, we have a, if we have a picture that's actually speaking such volumes to us, yeah. then I think it's, it's a picture that's going to speak to others as well. So, yeah. Absolutely. It has a whole narrative in itself. Yeah. It's really Winning strong. photography, a strong one, that has to get empathy from the viewer. You have to feel that you're part of that world, that it's yours. So my advice would be stay passionate about what you want to uh, uh, share. And, and, uh, and bring it with all your skills. Yeah.